everyone in today's video i'm going to be showing you some quick swatches of some popular sunscreens on dark skin my skin starting with black girl sunscreen they're a black owned brand that's sold at target that's known for their moisturizing face and body lotion the sunscreen has aloe vera juice cocoa butter avocado oil and jojoba oil along with a bunch of other great ingredients to moisturize your skin and it's fragrance free Color wise, the product comes out of the tube white, but when it's blended into the skin, it dries down invisible, which is perfect for dark skin because we want to avoid any white casts or looking ashy. And out of the five that I'm testing in this video, this is definitely one of my favorites. Next up is the Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen from Biosense. It's fairly new and launched earlier this year. And what's cool about it is it includes one of their iconic oils. It's super lightweight and locks in moisture in the skin. It also has water lily to cool and calm the skin after it's exposed to the sun. Now it claims to be super sheer and white cast free, but call me crazy, but I see the tiniest bit of white cast once this dries down. Third one is a cult favorite. It's the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. It has a gel texture and comes out of the tube clear, so you know there won't be any white or gray color once it dries down. Although it's the most expensive of the five, it's worth it if you don't wanna go through the hassle of searching for a sheer sunscreen. However, out of the five, it's the lowest in terms of marketing or highlighting skincare benefits outside of just the SPF. Sliding in next is the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen from First Aid Beauty. It's described as a non-whitening SPF that's light and visible with a non-greasy finish. The application is a little runny, but the texture isn't bad at all. Super nice and lightweight is pretty true to what they say on the website. Now the only problem I have is that it isn't invisible as it's described. If you wipe it off, the tint is pretty noticeable, so if you're around my complexion, that might not be an issue, but I can imagine it might be a concern for someone with fairer skin. Saving the Ordinary for last, this is the cheapest one out of the bunch we swatched today. It also has zero marketing outside of the website, and as you can see, the texture is on a thicker side, similar to a traditional sunscreen. Definitely with that white and purple cast that we were trying to avoid. Now you're probably thinking, why is this featured? Honestly, it's because I love The Ordinary and a lot of their skincare products, and this is just one of the ones that missed the mark. And that's it for our sunscreen test on dark skin. Which sunscreens are you currently loving, and have you tried any shown here? Comment down below, and I'd love to try them in another video.